Good morning ladies and gentlemen, we are Artemis Construction and we are here to propose our idea for a unit on the Alaska Lunar Settlement. This is the basic layout, we have an observatory up there for the budding astronomers and this is the basic structure. Now the walls are made up of three layers, the inner and outer layer are made up of lunar regolith to prevent radiation and the middle layer is made up of radiation proof fabric just for that extra bit of safety. The new residential unit will be using plants as main support system. These plants, grown in an aeroponic system, will produce oxygen, also produced through the Sabatier process and the electrolysis of water, will be a source of food and stabilise the atmosphere within the unit. In addition to power from the main unit, the parabolic solar panels on the roof will be used to ensure self-sufficiency. In terms of waste, biodegradable waste will be used as fertiliser, and non-biodegradable waste will be depolymerized to make useful hydrocarbons. Recycling water is imperative to ensure that our residential unit is self-sufficient. The water will be produced through the Sabatier process, purification of liquid waste, and by recovering water from exhaled carbon dioxide. A major problem we face within our residential unit is the lunar gravity, a mere one-sixth of the Earth which causes bone deterioration and muscle atrophy. The solution is twofold. Firstly, our dedicated exercise room will contain exotic devices with elastic resistance bands to combat muscular degeneration. For the children, a specially designed resistance jungle gym will combine exercise and play. Secondly, we shall use vibration therapy. Each oscillation shall impart a force at one third of the Earth's gravity. These vibrations will be provided by vibro shawls, which have vibrating plates located between the inner and outer cells to give the required 10 to 20 minutes a day. Now for the entertainment. Entertainment will be provided using the emigration simulation. This basically puts you in a particular real life situation. So the children can go to a zoo on earth or the parents can visit a museum. It's completely up to you and you won't have to move from your house. This is done using a brain computer interface. Now, we also have customized robotic pets. These pets have a movable exoskeleton. So one day your kids can have a pet dog, the other day they can have a pet elephant. It's completely up to your children and this is a very entertaining thing for your little kids. We also have communication with the Earth, which is done using this method, which allows very fast transfer of data at very high speeds. We also have a link system. This is based on human-computer interaction. This allows humans and computers to interact using either the palm technology or the wrist-mounted link. It's completely up to you. So, for example, if your fridge is out of milk, the fridge can order the milk for you and it will inform you using either your palm or your wrist-mounted link. We also have Martin. Martin is our robot. This robot will do anything you want it to do, right from housekeeping to cooking. It's also powered using artificial intelligence. It will be your mom's best friend. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to our proposal. We hope that we'll see you soon. Thank you.